Okay, it's me here once again. And this time we will go through the Neural Machine Translation demo hands-on. So, what we are doing here? What's the big picture? So, we want to transform spoken lang language from one uh, language to another. And for that we need three components. So, first we need some component for uh, speech to text then we need another component for uh, to transform that text from one language to another and then for the final component we need to transform that uh, text to some audio file um, for the first part we will use a speech recognition library and for the text-to-text uh, -text or language-to-language -language transformation, we will use the Helsinki NLP's uh, Neural Machine Translation um, models that were released in the uh, Hugging Faces Transformer uh, library. And for the last part, we will use uh, Google's um, text-to-speech, so GTTS library. Uh, I will divide this uh, video in two parts. So first part will be the setup uh, where we install the packages and make a virtual environment with Cond and stuff like that. And in the second part uh, we'll discuss through the, mm, the small demo I have made. So mm, I'm here with my Visual Studio uh, and here I'm going to start uh, with the setup. So first we want to uh, create a new environment as I do for most of my projects. So it's quite neat to separate each environment into different Conda environments to keep the dependencies uh, separated. So to create the environments just write uh, Conduct create then dash n for environment or the name of the environment and then let's have like speech demo n nmt then we activate the environment And then we install pip and python to this specific conda environment. And we want to use python 3.6 for this demo. So that will do it. Uh, then for the neural machine translation models, we're going to need PyTorch and uh, the PyTorch uh, site has uh, instructions to install the correct PyTorch version but basically how it goes it's just the basic commands and then you give your CUDA version so to check your CUDA version uh, you need to type nvcc and then version so here you see I have version 10.1 and this is the correct way to check your uh, actual like CUDA installation. If you check it from NVIDIA SME, this will give you the your drivers and your driver version and I guess it, this is like the latest CUDA version that this driver supports or something like that but this won't tell the actual like CUDA version that you have so this is just something you need to know and I've had some pain with this in the past and few hours wasted with this so NVCC version to check the correct one but let's now install the uh, PyTorch so like this and hopefully 
that's correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, then we need a bunch of other libraries. So one is uh, the transformer library from Hugging Face. So and if you're not yet familiar with transformers library, I suggest you uh, introduce yourself to it. It's a great library for all kinds of NLP tasks. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, then for the uh, neural machine translation, we need a few more, or at least one more. So we need this Moses tokenizer. Don't ask me about it. I don't know the details what it actually does, but we need that. Uh, then we need the speech recognition library. audio and we're going to install it from Honda as uh, some of the dependencies are uh, better handled there I had some errors with the pp installation mm. then we need something more at least VLC for some of the like file processing and I'm going to check, do I need something more? Yes, we need GTPS. And that should probably be all. Let's move to desktop and then test it with the speech recognition file that I have. It seems to download correctly or if it starts, yes. Seems that it got through the imports and got the thing uh, ready. So I think we're ready with the setup. And in the next video, I'm going to go through the demo. So see you there.